the divine chaplet, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again from the dead, ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In our prayer before Mass, Eternal Father, I unite myself with the intentions and affections of Our Lady of Sorrows and Calvary. And I offer to thee the sacrifice of Sunday, Sunday, self on the cross, in which he now renews on this holy altar. I offer in the name of all mankind the message that you're now being offered to all those who should be offered throughout the world of this day. To the door of the Egypti, to the of the confessing thy supreme dominion over all things, and the absolute dependence of everything upon thee, who are one and last day. To thank thee for the innumerable benefits we have received, to appease thy justice aroused against us by so many sins and to make satisfaction for it, to implore grace and mercy for myself, for thy church, for all afflicted and sorrowing, for poor sinners, for those who have promised prayers, for the entire world, for the holy souls in purgatory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
came into the world for its salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you open for us the gates of heaven. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you brought light into the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our last day. Amen. Let us pray.
first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten of God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, Lord every nation on earth will adore you. <clears throat> He said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave it to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them. They all ate and were satisfied. <laughs> and they picked up twelve wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were five thousand men. <clears throat> the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Magi coming on Epiphany, the baptism of the Lord and the Jordan by John the Baptist, 
Well, what do you at Cana? And this passage, the multiplication of loaves and fishes, were bundled together years ago. They were the stories which illustrated that Christ was mm -hmm. present in the world, that he had come, and that by these actions involved by the characters in these stories, people knew that there was something very important about Jesus. This was to prove to be a pattern that would continue. It will continue in various forms, but the pattern is always there. Actions, words, events. And that made it clear that the Lord was in the world. It continues in the lives of the saints, it continues in the sacraments. And one of the saints that we celebrate is St. John Neumann, who came from Central Europe and who worked among the immigrants, who tried to educate, who tried to read and die, who worked in Pennsylvania, parts of Ohio. And he did much to establish the church which would continue through the sacrament system chiefly, but other ways as well. That same message that his actions tried to bring. That God is present. That he has come into the world. That things are different. And that the light once broke into the dark will not fade away. Gathering our prayers into one, we ask the Lord for His presence and light among us. This task is offered for Leroy Nates. For this intention, let us continue to pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the Pope and all bishops and priests may continually be strengthened by God's love as they shepherd their people. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The leaders of nations may be blessed by the Holy Spirit with wisdom, compassion, and a heart open to the truth of God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are hungry may be satisfied through the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For unborn children, that their mothers and fathers may cherish them and bring them safely to birth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the safety of military personnel, peacekeepers, and humanitarian workers who risk their lives in the service of justice, peace, and national security, and also for the well-being of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all in our faith community ministering to those in need, particularly our student ministry leaders and caregivers in formation, that they remember always they are caregivers. God is the cure giver. <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our faithful departed, including Gustavo Leon, for whom Our Lady of Grace Candle burns this week, may they now rejoice with the angels and saints for all eternity in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For our personal petitions, let us pause in silence. For all of these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, help us to continue in the path of the saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. You will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In a similar way, when the supper was in it, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> For our communion hymn, let's continue singing, O Come All You Faithful, number 93. Sing, choirs of angels, sing in exultation, sing all ye citizens of heaven above.
Amen. God announced the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Let's finish off number 92 with the Latin. Adeste fide.